guys, this is going to be uh, StarCraft II Zerg, Shin, aka Ragnarok, going up against MC. Uh, and MC, of course, one of the best StarCraft II players of all time. Uh, but in this particular game, he's going to be playing StarCraft One Protoss. For those of you who don't know, uh, MC is extremely good at StarCraft One again. Uh, you know, just a quick overview of MC's history. He was one game away from qualifying for both OSL and MSL right before StarCraft II came out. He switched to StarCraft II, became one of the greatest Protosses of all time, and then went back uh, to StarCraft One after a long, long reign in StarCraft II. Uh, and yeah, he's extremely good. He plays with all the pros. He has wins against top pros and stuff. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets up to that professional level himself. Obviously, he's a ridiculously talented player. Uh, but really, he's very, very good at StarCraft 1. So, uh, and also, obviously, still good at StarCraft 2. He did win that uh, that match in Saudi Arabia, the StarCraft 2 Legends match as well. So anyways, he's going for a Nexus first here against StarCraft 1 Protoss. And yeah, throwing down his gateway. The Nexus first. I think this is probably just how you have to play. You know, with 12 worker starts, doesn't really make sense to do anything else. Getting the gateway up afterwards as well. And yeah, he's going to go over and scout. He's actually going to see Ragnarok first. I do like that they're playing on the map Whirlwind. This is an older map, like 2015, I want to say. Somewhere in that range. Uh, this was a popular map on the StarCraft II ladder. Definitely uh, MC was active at the time. But yeah, it's nice to have a four-player map here as well. Now, I've seen... All right, so from the games that I've seen, because I've, I've played a lot of StarCraft 1 Terran in this mod, and I've seen a, a fair amount of games uh, in multiple matchups. It seems to me like... Okay, so here's a few things. First off, uh, StarCraft 2... Races have the advantage in mobility. They have the advantage in the macro mechanics. Uh, yeah, those are those are like two very very big things, right? Like it's it's hard to overcome those. Oh yeah, and they also have like harassment specific types of units, like oracles that don't exist in StarCraft One, where it's like this is very good at harassment. We don't, you know, we just use regular units for harassment in StarCraft One. Uh, so it has those things going for it. I think the one thing that StarCraft 1 really has going for it is splash damage. The pathing in StarCraft 2 made it so that splash damage all had to be nerfed, okay? Most things got buffed going over to StarCraft 2, but splash damage basically needed a nerf. Uh, like, Psy Storm is much weaker. There is no Reaver. Uh, Siege tanks are, in general, weaker, right? There's no Spider Mines, uh, you know... Um, they, all sorts of things like that, right? So I just want to put that out there as I feel like that is probably the key to victory for StarCraft 1 players is more of a turtled approach because, again, they will get outmaneuvered, uh, outpositioned by the quicker StarCraft 2 units, which are most more mobility-based, uh, and to rely upon splash damage to end up winning their game. So... Yeah, that's kind of my my opinion on it so far. And you can see already, very different looking from a StarCraft 1 Protoss vs. Terran, right? This is a very quick Reaver build. Uh, and, you know, it, it, like not really worrying about Mutas or anything like that. Mutas, of course, uh, the Mutalist Micro, Carrier Micro, those things don't exist in StarCraft 2. Those are like parts of the old StarCraft 1 engine that is like... I don't know if you would call it broken. It's like bugs, but they're features that allow the absolutely ridiculous micro uh, that exists in StarCraft 1. Those things just simply don't exist in StarCraft 2, so there's no way to utilize them in the same way. Uh, you're probably not that afraid of the StarCraft 2 Mutalisk here. Obviously, it's still a very good unit, uh, still very mobile and everything, but Corsairs would probably rip off its head and shit down its neck. Now... Uh, Dragoon range is on the way. Roach Warren coming up. The Reaver is going to be really, really interesting here. Okay, Disruptors are... Like, Disruptor is if you wanted to design the Reaver poorly. Okay? Let's be real for a moment. That's that's kind of what it, that is, right? Uh, <laughs> it's The Reaver itself is going to be able to put out a lot more damage than a Disruptor. Obviously, one Disruptor hit has more potential than one Reaver hit, but you can just do a lot of Reaver hits right in a row. All 
Okay, so kills that off. Uh, he does see that it's going to be Reaver Tech coming up. Plus one armor on the way. Already plus one attack is done. Shuttle speed or... Yeah, shuttle speed on the way. Waiting for that uh, that additional Reaver here as well, it looks like. No, no, no. The shuttle is actually coming across right now. So we'll see what he's able to do with that. Little spore on the edge. And... Ooh, that's four queens. Oh, my man. Oof. Oh, my God. He targeted a Zergling. <laughs> oh, boy. He targeted a Zergling. Ooh. <laughs> that would be a very, very, very low shuttle. My eyes are not used to StarCraft 2 units attacking StarCraft 1 units. I think the shuttle would have lived with, like, 1 to 2 health, but I can't say 100%. If that was a prism, I would have been able to tell you. Anyways... Uh, yeah, a lot of Dragoons have been made. So it looks like we might have, like, a Dragoon Reaver push. Which, this is not a strat you really see in StarCraft 1. If I saw this in StarCraft 1, I would be like, whoa, this is kind of crazy what we're seeing. Uh, and it would be a very specific, different situation that would allow that. By the way, Baneling Nest coming up. Roach Speed plus two melee, all on the way. Let's see what MC can do with this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Absolutely ridiculous. Hmm. Really, really good scarab shots, as you can see. Doing a fantastic job killing off some of these, uh, some of these overlords. Yeah, the Baneling's not going to have a very good time here. The Reavers, man, the Reavers just crushing. By the way, you can see they actually nerfed the Reaver in this mod. It's showing what it's targeting, which is not something that occurs in StarCraft 1. StarCraft 1, you just have to figure out what it's targeting, which is pretty hard. Now, a lot of Ling's coming up and kind of surrounding. He is going to have to pick up these Reavers. This attack is done. This is going to end up being held, but it really feels like that was fantastic Reaver uh, micro. Hopefully, he is building scarabs right now inside that shuttle so that he can drop them out for some more harass. Oh, the Dragoon's actually going to get home somehow. If those are Brood Roar Dragoons. No way, man. <laughs> I don't think so. So, yeah, picks up those Reavers once again. The Reavers really bringing a lot of value to MC, who does have a third base up. His, his Dragoons are going to get caught here. That fourth base really under fire here from MC. You know, MC is probably the perfect person to play this mod between... Uh, his strength in StarCraft 2 and with that StarCraft 2 engine and the level of his StarCraft 1 play, he's like a perfect candidate for for playing this mod. <laughs> I feel like you can see that. Like his unit movement looks very good, very clean. It really is a very different feel uh, from the StarCraft 1 unit movement that you might get out of people that didn't really play both. A little bit of harass still here with those Reavers. Trying to push again with the Dragoons. And a little bit of Zergling harassment. Trying to come up right now. Dragoons getting a little bit wrecked here. I mean, as they, as they generally do. Dragoons not going to fare as well as... Like a, a stalker, for instance, here. Can't really blink away. Looks like we are getting a uh, scarab damage. Yeah, there it is. I like how they name it scarab damage. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Because it's definitely not named scarab damage, but like no one knows what it's named. Everyone just calls it scarab damage. All right. A uh, little bit of micro back here. Obviously, the Reaver's extremely important. Oh, man. Ling Bane coming up for those hits. Loses one of those Reavers finally. It feels like Ragnarok really has taken some control in this game. Not looking super good for MC on the three bases. Here's the thing. He stayed on Dragoon Reaver for so long. I think if he had gone more quickly into, into Storm, he would be in a better spot. And I'm not saying the game is 100% over right now. Like, I definitely think there's still, there's still some potential here for MC. And he is getting that Psy Storm. But... Like, StarCraft 1 Psystorm is hilariously powerful looking in the StarCraft 2 engine. 
Uh, you know, it just, it does way more damage than a StarCraft 1 Size Storm. Like, 70% more if I, uh, wait, no, it's... 60% more, I want to say. Uh, but it's like really, really, really a lot more because stuff does not clump the same in StarCraft 1 as it does in StarCraft 2. So yeah, again, it's when that Psystorm is out, MC is going to get a lot of power in his army. Like you're actually going to see roaches popping against it, which is like, you know, you see storms on roaches sometimes in StarCraft 2, but it's, it's, it's more like just adding some damage to them, right? Whereas these storms will actually just fucking kill roaches. <laughs> In fact, now that I think of it, I think it straight kills a roach, the storm. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's right around there. Very, very close. Um, anyways, four High Templars on the way. More Reavers. Ultraless Cavern and Adrenal. So one thing to note is the, the StarCraft 2 Zerglings are slightly nerfed from their StarCraft 1 counterparts. Again, this has to do a lot with pathing and uh, how well melee units respond in StarCraft 2, how you can get them to surround everything in a matter of seconds. Uh, that's not really doable in StarCraft 1. So yeah, the StarCraft 1 Zerglings are stronger. So even though I think it's a very good strategy here for Ragnarok to be going for Cracklings, it's just, it's gonna be something that MC already deals with and he deals with a stronger version of it. So I think that's not gonna be too, too scary for him. All right, just going to fly away with this Reaver. He's done a great job with the Reaver harassment, but Ragnarok has taken so many bases now, man. He's getting up to, was it, six bases at the moment? Really quite, quite a large economy. Going into that, uh, that, dude, the cost efficiency is insane. Look at that. Almost 10k resources lost against 6k. Absolute madness. But MC's only on three bases, right? So they're both maxing out. And... Like I was mentioning at the very beginning of this, I do think that if StarCraft 1 is going to win any matches, it's got to be on the back of the powerful splash damage. So the fact that he's been utilizing Reavers a lot and now he's maxed, I do think that there is a timing here where MC may be able to win the game. Just between some very good size storms. By the way, that's so much larger. Those High Templars are so much larger than they're supposed to be in StarCraft 1. They're smaller. They're like the same size, I would guess, as a Zealot on StarCraft 1. But here they're bigger. So it just looks really weird. Look how big they are. Oh, my God. It's crazy. All right. So that army has a lot of splash. It looks pretty darn scary. I'll tell you, legs look weird here. They don't look as fast as uh, they feel in StarCraft 1. It's that weird stancer and dude, those oh man, the banelings. Now the banelings will actually pop almost instantaneously to the size storms. So I'm actually not that afraid for Protoss in this matchup. Now a 3 DT drop to the top right, he is definitely gonna be able to get that. Little Link counterattack. Might get his third base. Oh, we need the storms. And you can see those storms just pretty ridiculous. But wait a minute, did he just lose all of his high Templar? Okay, he's got another one here, another one there. Okay, so two more left. He did lose at least two there though. The DT is doing a fantastic job across the map. Going to be able to kill that base off for sure. He okay, throws the storm down. But I don't think the army's big enough. I think Ragnarok is just going to be able to win. Yeah, it looks like Ragnarok is just surrounding everything. Now, seven Ultras on the way. By the way, StarCraft 1 Ultras, you would never go in this situation. In fact, probably not that good here, but he is going for it anyways. Uh, the Ultras do deal Splash in StarCraft 2, but not in StarCraft 1, so that makes a big, big difference. Uh, well, actually, I mean, you might end up going Ultras, actually, against this comp in StarCraft 1, now that I'm thinking about it a little bit. It's just, this is not a comp you ever see. Ultras are super, super rare against Protoss in this matchup. Uh, but yeah, you can see, wow, the Ultra actually doing a great job against these Zealots. Double Reaver drop up to that main base. Yeah, the top right, he's trying to still grind out a lot of value. That third base under attack once again. The Ultra's going to clear everything in a matter of seconds here. The Probe's having to run. Dude, the Reavers are just crushing face right now. Just so much efficiency. 
But he does need to deal with these uh with these ultras, which seems really hard. With no immortal to deal with this, it's like I guess Archon Dragoon is about as good as you can do. Yeah, but MC is gonna lose this base. And I think we're basically at the end of the game now. MC still flying around a bit. Like, I, I mean, I guess there's not that much mining going on for Ragnarok, but it's 102 to 182, so it's definitely not feeling good. It's 100 army supply to about 60-ish. Oh, man, Parasite Bomb. <laughs> well, it would just be Scourge in StarCraft 1. So, yeah, these are these are both completely screwed now. Poor Reavers. Has to drop those out. What was that weird dud-looking thing? Yeah, I guess Scarabs probably won't dud ever here, but really a dud is a user error in StarCraft 1. A lot of lower players want to pretend it's not, but it is. Um. Okay, so... I mean, he has a lot of Psy Storm. He has the Reavers. Maybe there's a chance to hold here. Dude, look at the Psy Storm rip everything apart. Holy shit. Really, really good damage there. GG and Ragnarok going to take down MC in that StarCraft 1 versus StarCraft 2 match. Really not seeing a lot of uh, StarCraft 1 wins. I got I to gotta be honest with you here.